Hmm, what's that smell? It's a game that no one asked for. Hi, <laughs> hi everyone. Welcome to Deep Sleep. I saw the Deep Sleep trilogy on Steam and I was like, oh, I think those are good. Um, saw that John played them like three years ago. They were all like short games, like 15 to 20 minutes, I think. Um, I just opened up the game and the, the title screen is already super atmospheric. So I'm just super excited to play this. Um, another thing that no one asked for and here we are. So let's enjoy this little indie horror. Um, I think this is it. <laughs> so let's check it out. Let's start with Deep Sleep, right? It's gotta be the first one. Ooh, I see. So now we're in a different menu. Gotcha. If you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. Nietzsche. I've heard that quote many times in indie horror. <laughs> I got a key already! Easy! Those are some pro gamer skills. Oh. Oh, it's deteriorating. Oh, that's cool. I can feel my. Oh! Oh, you can go to the left and the right of the. Oh. Hello, little skelly man. <gasps> I, I'm borrowing your arm. I hope that's okay. Um, I think. I think I want to play this because I'm in a point-and-click mood. I think that's why I was like, Yes! Let's fucking go! I take that back. Let's not go. Let's just go here. Let's explore upstairs a little bit. There are big cracks in this wall. Wow. Oh, the phone is here somewhere. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but... Oh, phone. Really cool. What is he saying? Wake up, I can hear, but you have to wake up. Oh, it's a flashlight. Nice. Dude, I don't know how to wake up. Oh! Oh, now I get the perspective. So we, we can see this railing and then this is the room with the... Okay, I getcha. Um, now that we have a flashlight, I guess I'll go this way. Ooh, what is this? Ding! Nothing here. I'm sure this note gets to you somehow. At this point you should know all this is not real. I hope the inner awakening went well and you have a full lucid control over the dream. Sincerely yourself! Oh. I'm getting massive vibes to like the Jinji Ito manga. That one budge? Okay. Where'd the music go? Oh, okay. Um, there's this one story oh no batteries ah fuck wait what is this thing a cube with a keyhole a human bone okay um there's this Junji Ito uh, story of a dude who every time he goes to sleep he is in stuck in his dream world longer and longer Oh! Not with this inferno inside. I need to turn it off. How do I do that? Oh, I have a coal. Okay, what are we gonna do? We have an old cloth, a lucky piece of coal, a flashlight that's no use, a human bone, and a cube with a keyhole. This must be a water supply. Maybe we can use this as leverage. No? Like, I was gonna like stick it in there and then do that, but... Hmm. Oh, maybe we can soak up some of this water. We can. Hmm. 
I don't think that'll be useful for here, though, but... Because we need to turn this off, right? Yeah. How do we turn it off? Oh, something to the right. It needs a lever of some sort. Ah. The handle is hot. Okay, that's why we have this. Ooh, is that a key? Oh, that's a key. Oh, there's something in the back? We're cleaning off the... stuff. Um, can I use the cloth? Oh, there's numbers under there. Six... Seven... Four... O... Oh. Is that it? I think so. Yeah, there's no fifth one at least. Six, seven, four, oh. I don't know what that's for, but cool. Um, I got a key. There was a locked... There was a locked thing in the desk. Oh god, where was it? Here? Batteries? Sweet. Cool. Now we have light. So now we just need to get back to that creepy hallway here. Wake up. Are we gonna go in? Oh, this is scary! Ah! <laughs> Old scale. What's that? Golden statue. Um, is that the way forward? Where did we saw the dude? Oh, are we out here? What? Oh, uh, six, seven, four, oh. Haha. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Wait, can I- I can't hold it, can I? Do I have to click it all the way through? Oh, I don't like this. This is so slow. Flashlight. Oh my god. That is creepy. Okay. I thought I saw someone. <gasps> I was trying to fight. Okay. Can't reach there. Need a ladder? Wait. Hmm. What's that? A hook. Okay, so we can go there, but then the creepy dude shows up. I have a golden statue. A cube with a keyhole. We might just have to run when he shows up. Okay, let's try it again. Let's grab the thing. And go. Go back. Close the door. Oh my god, that's cool! Click it! Click it! Click the shit out of that thing! Okay. Now lock it. Do you think we did good? I'm out. Oh, what's this? My daughter went to sleep and she never woke up. My son's personality has completely changed overnight. 
Mayor's wife possessed. A man kills his family after waking up from a coma. You are next. It's time to pay a price for playing with things you don't comp comprehend. Time to go back, dude. Was this important? Okay. So he came from here? Oh no, he didn't. Life is lost without... Cody is lost without his plushy tiger. Well, I haven't seen a plushy tiger. Okay, we're back here. Now, what do we have? A pickaxe, a hook. Mmm, pickaxe. Oh, we're out! Cool. Oh, did I get a net? Yeah. Hey, a net! Okay, so this is where we came from. We're going up the lighthouse. Creepy painting. Mm. What should we do? Coal? It doesn't really say what it needs. So we're gonna light the lighthouse if we can. Don't we need like oil and coal and shit? Golden statue. Hmm. Oh, we were able to combine the net and the hook. I don't know what that's gonna do for us, but... Okay! Some... Oh, it's here! Oh, this is where it came from! Oh, that's cool. That's that key. Golden key. This looks familiar somehow. We stopped it. Can I open this? Shiny gem. Okay, nothing else in this room? I The only thing I can think of right now is that the gem might go in the lighthouse. Hope I don't get attacked again. Uh, God. So many ways to go. Wait, not there. This way. So up here. Let's try and put it in. Oh, it works! Okay, this might be good if anything tries to come up. Maybe we should put it there. feel like we're gonna get attacked and then... Oh god! Yep! Mm, go up, go up, go up! Go, go, go! Oh, I went way too far! Oh. <laughs> Stress! <laughs> Was that it? Did I do it? I didn't use the golden statue. Just like that. I woke up. Oh, I didn't use the golden statue, though. The nightmare was over, but my life has changed forever. So this was him going into a lucid dream state? Was it all just a dream, or are these creatures real? I have to know. I just have to know the truth. I can't stop thinking about it. I have to go back. 
back to the deep sleep. Oh, so good! That's great. Does it put me back in the main menu now? Wait, so if I quit this, does it put me back in the main menu? Cool, okay. Let me quickly Google what that gold statue was for. The golden statue you can find in the first game is Stefano, a character invented by PewDiePie by Felix. Because back in 2012, watching him was a thing actually helped me a lot. I watched a ton of terrible horror games he played and learned what I should not do. So it's just an easter egg for Felix? That's interesting. So I guess we didn't have to use that. Um, I could leave it here, but you know what? Let's just do another one. <laughs> Let's go. Deeper sleep. I've always wanted to experience a lucid dream. A dream in which you are awake. A dream in which you can be anyone and do anything. But something went wrong and I ended up having a terrible nightmare. Before I woke up, I encountered monsters that wanted to hurt me. I don't think they were a part of my dream. It felt like they came from the outside, from the depths. The nightmare didn't fade away like I thought it would. I couldn't stop thinking about it. What if it was real? I became obsessed with it. I don't know why. Maybe I just wanted to prove myself wrong. So I went to a local library to see if there were any past rec records of records of dreams similar to mine. Oh, cool. So we're awake now. Or we think we're awake. Nothing interesting here. More books about the human psyche, psycholo psychology, Nietzsche, poorly translated. Nothing about lucid psychology. Okay, dogs. So this is the exit. Okay. What's that? Can I read it? As long as you don't know you're dreaming, you are safe. I knew it! Ah, there it goes! We were dreaming already. Ah, that's awesome. That's so cool. Is there anything here? No, don't think so. A dusty old book. All pages blank. Nothing about lucid dreaming. Nothing interesting here. F physics. LDAC. Not what I'm looking for. There's a book missing there. Ooh. Hey, it's the painting again! Piece of paper. Notes 2 of 15. Can I read them? Oh, it's gonna fill up the page. That is cool. Oh, I'm excited for that. It's locked. I have nothing yet on me. No power. <gasps> Jesus, 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 Jesus. <gasps> There's a key. I'm back here! Oh my god! I don't have a flashlight this time. Ding! Another key. I can't reach it. Well, fuck. I didn't know it was tiny. This is new. Bert! Can you tear it down? Oh my god, that was awesome! Because his eyes scare me and I just like, in panic, fled. And now I fled here. Wait, is this the same? Oh, this is where I came from. I should have a flashlight. It might not be an enemy. Locked from the other side. Hi. You again. Why have you returned? This place is dangerous. Who are you? My name's not important. I'm a traveler like you. Have we met? Not in person. However, last time... Last time? Last time? Last time I left you a recorded message which, which led you to the lighthouse. You shouldn't have come back here. You're a real sleeping human? Yes. As crazy as it sounds, I am a re I'm as real as you are. What are you doing here? 
currently am hiding. Your actions have drawn their attention. Can't you wake up? Maybe I can, but I just don't want to. Maybe whatever life I had out there is even worse than this. It's none of your business. Oh, fuck, I didn't even read it. You are here, aren't you? You had your chance to escape, yet you've returned. This place lures you, and then it consumes you like a swamp. So this is not only my dream? Dreams are like personal pockets, but only to a certain level. At this depth, it's one big world for everyone, much like reality. Think of it as a river that joins with another river, and so on. At some point, they all fall into the ocean. Are there any other travelers? This realm is huge. You can find travelers from time to time. For example, have you met Felicity? She lives in the attic. Don't go there. She's dangerous. Why is she dangerous? Because she's crazy, that's why. She's been here for too long. She couldn't wake up and she just lost it. Watch out for her. How long has she been here? Years. She, lo she has lost both her mind and her humanity. How long have you been here? None of your business. I'm not crazy if that's what you suggest. I had to know if this was real. Well, now you know, but they won't let you reach the lighthouse this time. Can you help me? No, I risked my life for you once. This time you're on your own. Stay hidden. If they sense you, they find you. You're dead. You don't know how to wake up. Of course you don't know. People spend years preparing for this, learning, practicing. I had no idea. So you've jumped into a pool that's too deep without even checking, and you haven't learned to swim. Now leave me before they find us. I will go away if you help me. I've killed one of them with light. And that is exactly why you should go away. I don't want to be anywhere near when they get you. I will go away if you help me. Hmm. Since you've killed one of them, they will hunt you. They've probably already blocked all the ways out. This means you can only go deeper. Deeper? Why? And why would I? Because they might not look for you there. And sometimes you have to bounce off the bottom to reach the surface. What about when I get deeper? I don't know. I've never been deeper than I am now. Hopefully you will find something to bounce off. Who are you? My name's not important. I'm a traveler like you. So this is the same, right? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you don't have any more questions, please leave as promised. Goodbye. Something there? Piece of paper. <gasps> the flashlight! Nice. Should we go in here? Do you think the code's still the same? Mm. No. Okay, we'll work on that. We have a flashlight now, though, so... Can we go in here? No. Uh, dark down there. Um, how about this then? I can see the bottom. Hmm. That's it? I do have a key. I forgot. A room key. This is locked from the other side, right? Yeah. Okay, wait. Um, how about this door? No. Go up. Oh, flashlight now. Oh. Okay. Jesus Christ. I was just going to say it's so dark. 5753. Five, okay, good. I don't see anything, but I expect yes, a piece of paper. Okay. Yes, now I can go... Fuck, something came to mind and now it slipped. The code. 5753. I don't want to do this though. Last time I did this there was dudes.
piece of paper? Let's pay c close attention. I don't want to miss any paper. Got it. So can we go in here now? Oh, handle is stuck. Is that it? It's gotta be a piece of paper, right? Mm, I don't see it. Handle is stuck, but I don't really have anything I can wedge in there. Oh! It continues. Old toys. The plushy tiger! Oh, a needle. Was that backwards? Can we play that audio backwards? I can barely see my own reflection. Uh, the toy was for that... Um, Fleshy Tiger was written on the wall, remember? With that little horsey. Let's go back. I don't remember how we got there. How many pieces do I have now? Seven. I first encountered this phenomenon in the early 80s, but it would seem they have existed since the dawn of the human race. Oh, I really hope I can find all of them. <laughs> it's so cool. Did we miss any other? Wait, what happens if we go down here? Oh, that's this. Okay. I'm trying to get the place in my head. No power. That's a table. Scared me. This is locked. Okay. Tommy, Toby, it might be Toby, Danny, Timmy, Cody, no Cody, it was Cody. Cody likes his plushy tiger. I remember. But I don't know, do it, they don't all need toys, right? That's it? Hmm. I can grab it again as well, but I think it was Cody. Wait, was there any paper in there? Well, not along the edges. Okay, let's have a look around. What's that? A pointer? Oh, maybe we can reach that other key with that. Uh, was it here? Fuck. Key is at the bottom. Oh, it fell down here! Oh, never mind then. I didn't think about that. Okay, so this key can probably either go here or the other door, so here. A forest? It's really dark. Oh, mushies. What's that? A pile of stones. No idea where I am. Oh yeah, wait, let's go back. I want to see if there's paper. Okay, so we go here, then we use the flashlight. Okay, let's see if there's no paper hiding here. Uh-huh. What is this? Where am I going? Scarecrow scared me. Oh, we got thread. Piece of paper? Doesn't look it. Okay, let's go back. 
And to the right. This is where we were earlier when I was like, wait, go back. So there's another straight path here. Piece of paper. A small mound of ground. I don't have a shovel or anything, so I don't think I can do much with that. Ooh, a well? A key in the pot! Nice! Ooh! It seems to go deep! Holy shit, that sound! That was cool! Okay, we have another key. I don't see any paper. How am I doing paper-wise? 10 of 15. I think there was another right here. It might go in a circle. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Excuse me, what? Fountain, this way. A pile of flour. A bag with a hole. Oh, we can fix that. Empty bag. I don't know why we need that, but five kilograms. Ah. Oh, third full. Maybe. Okay, let me check for paper. Maybe we can add the stuff that we saw earlier into it. There was like a pile of rocks. Okay. Two thirds. So maybe then the pile of dirt. Full bag. Sweet! That's the hidden object game experience, I tell you. <laughs> what is it? Oh, we're getting so close. 11 of 15. I can't read it yet. There's a piece missing. They live in the realm of the dreams, but desperately possessing bodies. As long as you don't know. Uh, they don't attack detached. They attack. Mm-hmm. Detached from. Mm-hmm. Which sometimes happens during comas. Much more often during and lucid dreams. I don't know what that is. Oobs. I can't read it. Okay. Handle is stuck. We can only go back. Is this to start up the fountain? Hmm. Okay. Let's check out the fountain then. Oh, 12 of 15. Which piece did we get? This one. To our realm. Unoccupied bodies. Okay. There's the fountain. Ooh, piece of paper. Um, they attack when they sense a mind detached from its body, which sometimes happens during comas, but much more often during something. Okay, cool. What's this? Okay, we need a combination. An odd-looking fountain. Hmm. Well, we still have another key, so I think I need to go all the way back and try it on the white, white double doors. Oh, that actually wasn't as far as I thought it was. These. Hi. Anyone here? This piece of paper. <gasps> 14 of 15! They live in the realm of night folk. They live in the realm of dreams, but desperately want to get to our realm. Oh, that'll be good for the... Oh, this doesn't continue at all. This'll be good for the handle near the fountain. Oh. 
Don't kill me. Um, must be this then. Nothing happens. Well, I'm guessing the fountain is on now. So I got something, but nothing happened. I still have the pipe wrench though. There was another where we got one, an earlier key. There's another, um, not lever. What is it? A handle? What do you call them? The red thingies here, this handle valve. That's the word. Okay. Now I did two here. The wrench broke. Water flowing in the pipes. Perfect. Let's get the hell out of here. I hate this corridor. Okay. So that was three. Now let's go all the way to the fountain. Is it uh ah I see This always makes me think of um fuck. This always makes me think oh this is a these don't affect each other? Oh they do. Always oh, makes me think of Fatal Frame 1. So now it's on? Oh, everything is flooding. So where is this water going to? Oh, cool. This is working now. Oh, that means that we have power. Oh, that's why the light is on. So if we go back to the elevator now, it should probably work. Oh, hi, Bert! You went through some changes? Uh, this way? There it is! It works! Nothing yet. Wait, wait. Paper? No. Nothing on the ground floor. Let's start with two. What happened? Oh, is that just the doors closing? That scared me. I need one more piece of paper. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Go back! Go back! Go back! Oh, I'm trapped! Oh, oh, screws! Oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit! Go, 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 go! I dropped it! Oh my god! <laughs> Don't drop it! Dude, go! Oh my god. Okay, let's just go to one for now. Oh, we are on one? Okay, minus one. Let's just leave the second floor. Is that paper? Ah, oh, it isn't. I don't know what I'm gonna find in there and I don't like it. Okay, let's do this first. A long rope. Cool. You have any- got any paper? <laughs> oh! Cool! Okay. Should we try and go back to two? I might die. I'm not going back there. Uh, okay, so we have a rope and a screwdriver. Bert's gone. Where'd he go? Uh, wasn't oh, wasn't there a well we could do go down? 
that was the second path. Was it here? Oh shit, is that it? <gasps> there will be no going back. I I don't know what else to do, so Oh shit. No. No. Go back. No! To be continued there. Achievement unlocked. I have to go deeper. With a well picture. Young boy wakes up from a three month coma. Nine year old boy from a local orphanage who has been in a coma since February woke up yesterday in good health. Doctors previously didn't give him much of a chance of ever regaining consciousness. Boy's first words after opening his eyes were, My tiger has found me. Yeah, because I put that on Cody's bed. Holy shit. See you at the final depth. Oh, I missed a note though. That sucks. But we got, we got the gist. We got the gist. Well, we're almost an hour in. Now we have to keep going. I mean, for you guys it's less, because I'll edit down where I'm just clicking everywhere and every everything. Um, I might put this one a tiny bit brighter. There we go. Okay, let's do it. The deepest sleep. At least Cody woke up, that's nice. I woke up in the middle of a night. A night. I couldn't move or say anything. And there was someone in my room. Oh no. Is someone there? Oh my god, I can't move. He seems to be looking at me. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Okay. That's a, per a very private fear. <laughs> I always have nightmares about someone, like, staring at you when you sleep. Shelf is empty. Okay, where are we? A sealed vase. Oh! Okay. Oh, what is that? Okay. Okay. Are we deeper? Hello, Bert. Oh, poster Bert! I'm sure this note gets to you somehow. If you followed the stupid traveler, even though you know what's gonna happen, you you are at the bottom depth now. There is nothing beneath you. It is important that you avoid the bottom feeders. They sense motion, so don't make any sudden moves near them. Also, don't go to the dark church. Darkness there will suffocate you. Find a ladder. It should take you back to the surface. Sincerely, yourself. Find a ladder. Okay. A reel with no handle. Green book again. The bottom feeders. They live at the bottom layer of the realm of dreams, feeding upon everything that ends up there. Even the shadow people fear them. They are blind but can sense vibrations and movement. By staying perfectly still, you should be safe. Okay, can my cursor move? Moldy and stinky. Can sp smells like paint. Oh, screwdriver's back. Hello, buddy. A hammer. Nice. Okay. Got two handy things there. What's that? A gem is stuck in his mouth. Can you use the screwdriver? Nice. Thanks, buddy. A red rope is coming from the ceiling. No handle or keyhole. Okay, maybe we should find a way up. Stone skull. Do you want the gem? Oh! Fits perfectly in an eye hole. Okay, so we need two of those. Oh, this goes to the door on the other end. But how... What's this vase? 
Oh, can we smash it? Ah! <laughs> So what did that do? Wait, did that open something here? Oh! A door. Small hole. Oh shit. Oh, uh... Oh fuck! Okay. That didn't work. That did. Okay, so we need to make it blue. Got a handle. Nice. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, now do you need to be on the white spots? Oh god, did I see something? I thought I saw something. Ah, now I'm stressed. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Okay, now at least that door is closed. White and white. Okay. Okay, we're out. <laughs> we're good. Uh, let's use the handle here. Good job, dude. Yes. Okay, now what do we got? Is that a bottom feeder? There's more rope here. The bars won't move. That's okay. Oh, Bert! I don't want them to move. I'm taking the stool. Side Real Plexus Corporation Sewer Gate Lock System. Door. The door goes up, the bars go down. If the doors. Go down, the bar goes up. And a noose is connected to it as well. Hanged with a red rope. Do you want to give him the stool to stand on? Okay, so this is all connected. Can we... Okay, what do we got? We have a stool now. Was there anything that was out of reach for us? Rope goes up again. Pulled the rope down a bit. Rope goes up again. Oh, maybe we can- Oh, maybe we can put the stool under the door. So that it doesn't go down all the way. And that way, the bars will be open. Oh, I don't want to be back there, though. Nothing changed with you? Oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I have been devoured. Monsters react to fast movement. Oh, right. I stressed. Okay, don't move. Oh, so I have to... Even my cursor... has to move very slowly. So I'm slowly reaching... Is it coming closer? Fuck. I need to be really quick. Okay, let's wait here for the thing to go all the way down. Okay. Okay, there we go. Good. Oh, you, oh yeah, you guys can see it. Fuck, I need to be quicker. Okay. 
Let's wait for it to go all the way down. Come on. There you go. Oh. Holy shit, that's so good. What's this? Mm, corridors? Empty, 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 empty. Not going back there. <laughs> gotcha. What's that? A music box. Hmm. Toilet. The key. Nice. Nothing else here? The music is very pleasant. Okay. Something is blocking it. Empty square slot. Is that the ladder? It's loud here. Oh! Ah, that's the pattern that we need. Okay. Gas? Empty grease can. Nothing interesting. Okay. What's that sound? Wait. This square. I can't do anything. No, it's not interactable. Okay. No, but the music box. Stone tablet, but I can't reach it. Yeah, there's nothing really I can do. Um, what's here? So much rust, it's stuck. Okay, so we need grease for that. Um, which way was the music box? Here. Oh my god, was that what it was this whole time? Oh my god! Wait, how am I gonna get through this? Wait, this looks like the... Oh, the workshop way in the beginning of the game. Is that where it is? Is it like a reminder to show us where... Oh no, wait, we weren't gonna go back here. Okay, so this is a clue for that puzzle. Oh, oh man. Oh. Who are you? Okay, so there is no back. Never mind. So how does that... Oh, this is the bottom right. I see. Wait, let me just take a picture of that. <sighs> Easier. Okay. So according to that, this is bottom right. Yeah. And this is top right. So now I just need two more. There's nothing else in this room. Oh, fat oily mushroom. I have to get the oil out of it. Do you smash it? Ah. Okay, let's pour that over here. <laughs> I froze. I didn't even need to freeze. My body just froze up. Shit, how am I gonna deal with that? 
he's just hanging out here. Okay, I have to keep my movements slow. Maybe there's something I can use here. Pile of plates. Is there something moving there? Do you want to smash him? Okay, that worked. That's number three. Um, so that one goes top left. Okay. Now we need the one that's out of reach. Oh wait. Are we checked here? A lid of some sort. Gears are spinning fast. <laughs> ah! Ooh! Now we can go to the... Ooh, that's gonna be painful. If that starts up again out of nowhere. Go! 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 Shit. Why aren't you going? Oh, okay. Oh, a little hand. Cinnamon toast? Wait, cinnamon toast can? Is it like a little hidden... Suspicious looking dried herb. Rotten meat. Smells bad from there. Well, I have the last plate that I needed, so... Broken stove. I guess we should just go back. Um, here you go. Um, do I just have to be quick? Go? <laughs> Good thing the subtitle said, okay, go, because... No, 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 don't look at that, no. Shit. Is that me? No, dude, it's not. What? Have I been in the dream too long? Now I remember. What? They got me. All this time I've been... One of them? Oh, I didn't click on anything else, one of them. In the room, though. Oh, okay. Oh, I can still play. I was like, oh no, did I prematurely end the game? I'm a monster. I'm one of them. Nothing we can do here. <gasps> Am I looking at myself? There he was, a traveler just like me before. The moment he saw me, he started running. My ticket out of here, my chance to finally wake up. You're trying to go in his body? I just had to catch him to possess his sleeping body, a body that I could wake up in. But did I really want to? Have I really become a monster so easily? A monster I feared so much. It was so easy, almost too easy. I took his body away, leaving him in this chaotic world. Holy shit! I guess you could also choose not to click on him. I will wake up now, and chaos of this place will follow me up to the surface. Do I click? Oh, it's eyeball. The deepest sleep. That is so cool. I did not think I would play all three of them back to back. I couldn't stop. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. That was really, really good. Brought to you by Armor Games. I've heard of these games, but I... And I, I kind of knew they were good, but I didn't know... I didn't expect them to be this good. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to make a pixelated game like that. That atmospheric. Um, you need, like, good sound effects, good timing. Good mechanics, game mechanics, and this game, these three games together had it all. It's really, really cool. Yep, looks like that was it. What happens if I continue? Where does it put me? Maybe I can try and get a different ending.
Oh, cool. Okay, let's see. A body I could wake up in. But did I really want to? So now let's see if we can just let him go. Just let him reach the end. Bye. That was me closing the door. I hesitated and I let that man go. This vicious cycle cannot continue. I will remain here forever. Here in the deepest sleep. Oh. Nice. Okay, I think that's probably it. A good and a bad ending. Or... Not really. I think neither is really good nor bad. Because even... Good being you survive and you get out. You, do, you get out at the expense of someone else. And then someone else is trapped here forever, so... I wonder if the other ones had multiple endings. I feel like the first one probably didn't. Um... Because I think that kind of seems like the earliest concept, like the smallest one. Um, the second one I had the bit with the stuffed animal, so I think that might have been the good ending. But that was very, very fun and very cool. I hope you guys don't mind me just putting a random, really random episode of this old trilogy, indie horror trilogy, on YouTube. I just hadn't played them before and I'm glad, I'm so glad I did. I really, really liked that. Um, but yeah, that, that was it and I'm happy I played it. Um, let me know if there was any other easter eggs or alternative endings or stuff I could have done differently for different outcomes. If there was anything like that or if there's just cool facts that you have about this game, then let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. Um, I'm also curious if they made anything else. I'll look into that because I feel like a, a game dev like this would have would continue making games, right? Because I really like this. Um, some other indie horrors that I've played come to mind that are kind of similar, like pixelated, point and clicky. Um, so I'll link those after this video. Bear in mind they could- they're probably really old playthroughs of mine. They're probably gonna be 720p, poor quality. <laughs> um, but they might still be fun to check out. Um, if you like these kind of games, then you might like those too. But I think that's it. Now we're probably going to be back in the main menu. 2014. God, this game is six years old. If it's not older, actually, because this is the Steam release. Um, the trilogy is actually on sale right now for, I think it was two euros. <laughs> I got these three games for two euros. It was absolutely worth it. I deeply enjoyed that. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it too. Um, this was exactly what I needed for today, what I wanted to play. So I'm really happy I did. Um, like I already said it like the fifth time I already said that, that I liked playing this. But um, I just hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I can't wait to play more with you guys and see you there. I'll see what I can find. Thank you so much for watching.